Sleep Cognitive is a med tech startup, and our mission is to improve, improve the quality of sleep for insomniacs. Hopefully I'm not too good at my job though, and I'll send you all to sleep for the next seven minutes. But in all seriousness, the lack of sleep is a, is a silent killer. And it, it used to be cool to not have much sleep, but we've all become increasingly aware of the effect that sleep has on both our health, our physical and mental health. And getting a good night's sleep is fundamental for healthy aging. Sleep is a cornerstone of health and well-being, especially as we should be spending a third of our time asleep. At this moment in time, one in three people currently suffer from insomnia. But this number rises to 44% when we look at people over the age of 55. How many of you would be willing to raise your hand to say that you've suffered from insomnia at least some point in your life? Yeah, but this, we're in an emergency at the moment, but so much so that the CDC, the Centre for Disease Control and Prevention, have classified this as a global epidemic. So, but insomnia increases the likelihood of age-related diseases, and it doubles the mortality rate. So this is the risk that's been greatly underestimated. And to make things worse, 80% of sleep disorders are misdiagnosed. This is because sleep disorders, like insomnia, are di diagnosed using only a, a sleep diary and questionnaire over a two-week period. So, so, sleep, so coexisting sleep disorders are often missed, as clinicians just don't have enough information to make a full diagnosis. For example, one study showed that 43% of chronic insomniacs were currently suffering from undiagnosed sleep apnea. So what does this all mean? So at the moment, there is a staggering annual productivity loss of 50 billion in the UK alone. For some people, the go-to treatment are sleeping tablets. In 2012, the NHS spent 50 million on sleeping tablets, but this is only a short-term solution. The sleeping tablets become less effective over time, and also, unfortunately, they're highly addictive. The gold standard treatment for insomnia is cognitive behavior therapy, CBTI. It's Cognitive and behavioural interventions have the most effective treatment and with long-term beneficial effects and no side effects. But there are a limited number of CBTI therapists throughout the world. On the NHS, it takes 14 months to see a therapist. And therapy is time-consuming, it requires a number of sessions, and you may require repeat treatment at the end of it. So unsurprisingly, the global sleep aid market is rising and is expected to hit 101 billion by 2023. So when we were developing our system, we were talking to clinicians, we found that they needed a full understanding of the patient. But what this means, and, and in the home environment, but when you look at someone in the sleep lab, it doesn't really, you don't get a full understanding of their sleep. But this is because they sleep differently when they're in the lab, when they're being monitored. And also, you can only really analyse one or two nights realistically. So when we designed our system, we made sure we looked at not only the physiological, but almost also the environmental and behavioural factors. So in our system, we have 20 different sensors, which you can see listed here. We monitor, we monitor, we monitor medical, we use medical grade sensors to make sure that, so we have a night, we use medical grade sensors to make sure that we have a nightly understanding, which allows us to track your health and well-being, which we like to think of as a mini medical. The benefit of what we're doing is that we can track your health, we can track your health using non-invasive measurements, which allows us to identify any underlying health issues. This is through longitudinal data and longitudinal data and predictive modeling. So this is what we have designed: a bedside and wearable medical device. The bedside device sits on your bedside table, much like a lamp. The head of the device sits over you, as you can see on the image on, your, on the left. The wearable trigger, is, the wearable device is much like a trigger. It sits in the palm of your hand with a button on top, and the ring sits over your index finger. The wearable device is a, is a special design. As the benefit of it sitting on your finger is we can record much more accurate data, especially when you compare it to, wrist, um, to uh, devices that sit on your wrist and most of these aren't medical devices. The, on, the, on the base device, you can see an array of physiological, behavioural and environmental sensors. There are many sleep monitoring devices out there, but 
most of them, like, like Fitbit and Apple, but most of them inaccurately tell you about how you slept. And usually it's just to reinforce about how little you've actually had to sleep. So once we've got a full understanding of your insomnia and any coexisting sleep disorders, it's, begin to, it's time to begin treatment. Sleep Cognitive patented the active biofeedback technology. This is a behavioral intervention for insomniacs. And it's, what it does is it reduces rumination, stress, and worrying thoughts. And using Sleep Cognitive's unique algorithm, insomniacs can wind down to using their natural sleep and start building new positive associations with a sleeping progress. We're proud to be included in the aging space. And in 2018, we're included twice in the longevity report for both personalized medicine and regenerative medicine. So at the moment, we're, we're further developing our, our product and we're carrying out 80 person clinical trials with Sheffield Hallam University. And in the new year, we'll be going out for further, for further investment for three million pounds. Thank you for listening.